for my solo talk, which is essentially uh, talking about what's happened to me in the last four years, because my life has gone very strange in the last four to five years. Kevin, Rebecca, and Dave were people I, I knew either before my career started or right at the beginning of it, who, who really, the advice they're giving you, um, I am the proof. So really what I am is I'm an object lesson, okay? I am, um, I'm proof of concept, as they might say. I am someone who, a few years ago, was sitting where you are. Either those of you who are unpublished or just at the beginnings of your career, um, that's where I was. Um, I'm going to try and add a few things. Uh, this will, some, in some cases, repeat what you've already been told. I decided that would be okay. If you heard it from them and then I showed you how it had worked for me, that would be okay. Uh, this, I, I have a PowerPoint. I really just have this to keep myself focused. I find that I, I talk better with a PowerPoint presentation. Um, I will warn you ahead of time, there is at least one really terrible Photoshop in here. Um, so beware, all right? So, lesson one. This has been mentioned earlier, um, but I think I felt I wanted to mention it really briefly at the beginning of my talk. We are not giving this seminar specifically about craft. This seminar is about the business side of things, and I will talk a little bit more about that concept as we go through, but... Remember, you have to have a really great story. You have to have a really great proposal if you're doing nonfiction. If you're doing fiction, you need to have a really great story. You need to have an excellent product for any of this to really work for you. Um, there are lots of people who will give you advice on that. Yeah, I also have um, random quotes that you can, you can pay attention to instead of me if you feel so inclined. But if you don't, if you don't have something great, no amount of advice from us about the business side is going to help you to make a living at this. Um, you really need to be doing, you need to be doing great, great fiction or great nonfiction, whatever you're doing. You need to be shooting for the market. We'll talk mostly about fiction because that's mostly what we do. Um, all right. So lesson number one is craft. Not going to talk about that. Just be aware of that. Keep that in mind for everything we say. We're assuming that you understand that this is an art. We're assuming that you understand that it's very important to be able to tell these great stories that you're passionate about. We, under, we assume that you already know that this is something beautiful that we do. Um, storytelling is something amazing and wonderful and beautiful, and it's an artistic, amazing thing. It's not like making shirts and selling them. Well, maybe for some people, making shirts, but you know what I mean. It's not like making, um, making widgets or whatever. This is something different, but we're not talking about that side of it. Keep that in mind, all right? So, number two, everyone is different. The reason I felt that I needed to emphasize this to you is that you will find that everybody involved with publishing and any walk of, of, of any part of it, whether they're just the newest person who's gotten published or they've never been published or they're a critic or they're an editor, a writer, everyone will have advice for you. You will not lack for advice, particularly if you're the type who will go to conferences like this or to conventions, which has been mentioned. If you, you will be surprised at how easily you can get editors, authors, and people talking by asking the right questions. They will talk to you for hours. When I was unpublished, I received advice from Dave. Um, I was actually taking Dave's class at um, BYU. I was an undergraduate. I decided to finally just say, I want to be published. I really want to do this. Um, I had you know, been half telling myself I was going to be a professor. And I eventually decided, no, I want to be a writer. I really want to be a writer. So I actually, Dave came in to teach a class. It was my senior year. Um, and I decided then I was going to go take his class, even though it was a 200-level class. Um, so I ended up taking a graduate course in creative writing and Dave's class at the same time. Dave's class was way more useful. Um, about 400 times. I mean, not, there, there's no telling how, you how much more useful Dave's class was. But um, at one point during the class, Dave was talking about a lot of things. It was very useful. I approached him after class, and I said, I just want to ask you a few questions. Being the incredibly nice person, perhaps too nice that he was, he took me to his office which he had never been to before. 
Um, he said, I know I've got an office around here somewhere, because he was just coming in to teach um, for fun. And he took me and he sat me down. I said, all right, um, I've read your writing. I think you're really good. Um, what you really need to do is write more books. And I said, I'm on my sixth. And he said, oh. And he switched hats from get this aspiring writer to actually do what they're supposed to do to the hat of, all right, now start promoting yourself. And he said, how much money do you have? And I said, none. I'm an undergraduate. He's like, tough. Sell your car, get a loan, whatever you have to do, because you're going to the Nebula Awards in one month, because they're in New York. And every time the Nebula Awards are in New York, all the editors and agents go, and you want to be able to meet them. And you're going to go to World Fantasy Convention. Um, those are the two things you're going to do. And I did. And I started meeting people and asking questions. And I got a lot of advice, a whole ton of advice. And let me tell you, not all of it was good advice.